Welcome to History Revamped. Today, we embark on an exhilarating journey through the life of one of Rome's most controversial and intriguing emperors, Elagabalus. Buckle up, because we're about to dive deep into a story filled with intrigue, debauchery, and the ultimate downfall of a young ruler. Get ready for a ride you won't soon forget. Our tale begins in the year 204 CE in the sun-soaked city of Emesa, modern-day Syria. It was here that Elagabalus, originally named Varius Avitus Bashianus, took his first breath. Little did he know that his devotion to the sun god Elagabal would pave the way for an extraordinary destiny that would leave a lasting mark on the pages of history. As a young boy, Elagabalus found himself immersed in the rituals of the Elagabal cult, serving as a priest. It was through these religious duties that he developed a fervent belief in the power and divinity of the sun god. Little did he realize that his faith would soon thrust him into the spotlight of Roman politics, where he would reign as emperor. Imagine, if you will, a young ruler ascending to the throne at the tender age of 14. That's right, Elagabalus, with the influence of his mother, Julia Soemias, maneuvered his way into the position of Emperor of Rome. But what followed was a reign that defied all expectations, shocking and scandalizing the Roman elite with its brazen disregard for tradition. Elagabalus's taste for the extravagant knew no bounds. His banquets and parties were legendary, surpassing even the wildest imaginations of the most seasoned partygoers. Decked out in outrageously flamboyant clothing, he became a fashion icon of his time. It is said that his wardrobe was so expansive that he once lost track of how many togas he actually owned. Talk about having a closet fit for an emperor. But it wasn't just Elagabalus's fashion sense that turned heads. It was his audacious behavior that pushed the boundaries of acceptability. He took pleasure in hosting scandalous events within the walls of the palace, where mock marriages between himself and his male lovers were conducted. These extravagant parties became infamous for their lavish feasts, outrageous orgies, and even a macabre twist. Guests were forced to consume food mixed with precious gems, a rather expensive way to spice up a meal. While Rome reveled in chaos, the empire suffered. Elagabalus's obsession with his religious cult, Elagabal, took precedence over the affairs of state. His neglect of governance, coupled with his outlandish behavior, fueled discontent among the Roman people and the Senate. In a desperate bid to consolidate his power, Elagabalus appointed his lover, Hierocles, as Caesar, which further outraged the senators. The young emperor's reckless rule seemed destined to end in tragedy, with his subjects growing increasingly disillusioned. And so, the wheels of fate turned against Elagabalus. A group of disgruntled senators, fueled by resentment and a desire for change, conspired against him. Even the Praetorian Guard, tasked with protecting the emperor, turned their allegiance to his cousin, Alexander Severus, who was proclaimed the new ruler. Trapped within the confines of the palace, Elagabalus met a brutal and untimely end at the tender age of 18. Accounts of his demise vary, with some suggesting he perished under a hail of arrows, while others claim he was strangled to death. Regardless of the precise details, the streets of Rome erupted in celebration, rejoicing in the downfall of a despised ruler. Thus concludes the tale of Elagabalus, a captivating chapter in the annals of Roman history. His brief but tumultuous reign left an indelible mark on the empire, forever remembered as a cautionary tale of excess, the dangers of unchecked power, and the vulnerability of a society when faced with a ruler who disregards tradition and common sense.